I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 22.1 Questioner, the instrument would like to ask a couple of questions of you. The instrument would like to know why she smells the incense at various times during the day at various places. Answer, I am Ra. This instrument has spent a lifetime in dedication to service. This has brought this instrument to this nexus in space-time with the conscious and unconscious distortion towards service, with the further conscious distortion towards service by communication. Each time, as you would put it, that we perform this working our social memory complex vibrational distortion meshes more firmly with this instrument's unconscious distortions towards service. Thus we are becoming a part of this instrument's vibratory complex and it a part of ours. This occurs upon the unconscious level, the level whereby the mind has gone down through to the roots of consciousness which you may call cosmic. This instrument is not consciously aware of this slow changing of the meshing vibratory complex. However, as the dedication on both levels continues, and the workings continue, there are signals sent from the unconscious in a symbolic manner. Because this instrument is extremely keen in its sense of smell this association takes place unconsciously, and the thought form of this odor is witnessed by the entity. Question 22.2 Questioner, secondly, she would like to know why she feels more healthy now that she has begun these sessions and feels more healthy as time goes on? Answer, I am Ra. This is a function of the free will of the entity. This entity has, for many of your years, prayed a certain set of sound vibration complexes before opening to communication. Before the trance state was achieved this pre remained within the conscious portion of the mind complex and, though helpful, was not as effective as the consequence of this prayer, as you would call this vibrational sound complex, which then goes directly into the unconscious level, thus more critically affecting the communication from the spiritual complex. Also, this entity has begun, due to this working, to accept certain limitations which it placed upon itself in order to set the stage for services such as it now performs. This also is an aid to realigning the distortions of the physical complex with regard to pain. Question 22.3 Questioner, I will ask a couple of questions to clear up the end of the second major cycle. Then we will go on to the third and last of the major cycles. Can you tell me what was the average lifespan at the end of the second major cycle? Answer, I am Ra. By the end of the second major cycle the lifespan was as you know it, with certain variations among geographically isolated peoples more in harmony with intelligent energy and less bellicose. Question 22.4 Questioner, can you tell me the length of the average lifespan in years at the end of the second major cycle? Answer, I am Ra. The average is perhaps misleading. To be precise, many spent approximately 35 to 40 of your years in one incarnation with the possibility not considered abnormal of a lifespan approaching 100 of your years. Question 22.5 Questioner, can I assume then that this drastic drop in average lifespan from 700 years to less than 100 years in length during this second 25,000 years was caused by an intensification of a lack of service to others? Answer, I am Ra. This is in part correct. By the end of the second cycle, the law of responsibility had begun to be effectuated by the increasing ability of entities to grasp those lessons which there are to be learned in this density. Thus, entities have discovered many ways to indicate a bellicose nature, not only as tribes or what you call nations but in personal relationships each with the other, the concept of barter having given way to the concept of money. Also, the concept of ownership having one ascendancy over the concept of non-ownership on an individual or group basis. Each entity then was offered many more subtle ways of demonstrating either service toward others or service to self with the distortion of the manipulation of others. As each lesson was understood, those lessons of sharing, of giving, of receiving in free gratitude, each lesson could be rejected in practice. Without demonstrating the fruits of such learned teaching the lifespan became greatly reduced for the ways of honor duty were not being accepted. Question 22.6 Questioner, would this shortened lifespan help the entity in any way in that he would have more time in between incarnations to review his mistakes or would this shortened lifespan hinder him? Answer, I am Ra. 
Both are correct. The shortening of the lifespan is a distortion of the law of one which suggests that an entity not receive more experience in more intensity than it may bear. This is only in effect upon an individual level and does not hold sway over planetary or social complexes. Thus the shortened lifespan is due to the necessity for removing an entity from the intensity of experience which ensues when wisdom and love are, having been rejected, reflected back into the consciousness of the Creator without being accepted as part of the Self, this then causing the entity to have the need for healing and for much evaluation of the Incarnation. The incorrectness lies in the truth that given appropriate circumstances, a much longer incarnation in your space-time continuum is very helpful for continuing this intensive work until the conclusions have been reached through the catalytic process. Question 22.7 Questioner, you spoke of the South American group which was harvestable at the end of the second cycle. How long was their average lifespan at the end of the second cycle? Answer, I am Ra. This isolated group had achieved lifespan stretching upwards towards the 900-year lifespan appropriate to this density. Question 22.8 Questioner, I am assuming that the planetary action that we are experiencing now, which it seems shortens all lifespans here, was not strong enough then to affect them and shorten their lifespan. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. It is well to remember that at that nexus in space-time great isolation was possible. Question 22.9 Questioner, how many people populated the Earth totally at that time, that is, were incarnate in the physical at any one time? Answer, I am Ra. I am assuming that you intend to query regarding the number of incarnate mind, body, spirit complexes at the end of the second major cycle, this number being approximately 345,000 entities. Question 22.10 Questioner, approximately how many were harvestable out of that total number at the end of the cycle? Answer, I am Ra. There were approximately 150 entities harvestable. Question 22.11 Questioner, then as the next cycle started with these the entities who stayed to work on the planet? Answer, I am Ra. These entities were visited by the Confederation and became desirous of remaining in order to aid the planetary consciousness. This is correct. Question 22.12 Questioner, what type of visit did the Confederation make to this group of 150 entities? Answer, I am Ra. A light being appeared bearing that which may be called the shield of light. It spoke of the oneness and infinity of all creation and of those things which await those ready for harvest. It described in golden words the beauties of love as lived. It then allowed a telepathic linkage to progressively show those who were interested the plight of third density when seen as a planetary complex. It then left. Question 22.13 Questioner, did all of these entities then decide to stay and help during the next 25,000 year cycle? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. As a group they stayed. There were those peripherally associated with this culture which did not stay. However, they were not able to be harvested either and so, beginning at the very highest, shall we say, of the sub-octaves of third density, repeated this density. Many of those who have been of the loving nature are not wanderers but those of this particular origin of second cycle. 